As promised, we end with a medical breakthrough, a new way to make puppies. Jim Axelrod now with a man breeds dog story. In upstate New York, Alex Travis is walking his two colorfully named beagles, red and green. Oh, you guys are so cute. But these are no ordinary dogs, and he's no ordinary dog walker. Awesome. Travis is a researcher at Cornell University's vet school, and red and green are two of the first ever test tube puppies. The litter came from three separate moms who gave the eggs and two separate dads. In vitro fertilization, fertilizing an egg with a sperm in a lab, then implanting the embryo in a surrogate, has been around for humans since the late 1970s. But researchers like Travis only recently figured out how to make it work with canines. Dog reproduction is different than almost every other mammal. So this, we think, will have a lot of applications in veterinary medicine for animals that are valuable working dogs or show dogs or just animals that people love and want to breed. It's not just the genetic lines of the best in show that might benefit. Entire breeds like collies known for eye problems, Dalmatians prone to urinary stones, and golden retrievers susceptible to certain cancers could be helped. We can then use some new technologies on like gene editing. And we can use that to try to fix those defects and prevent the disease before it even starts. Red and green were among seven IVF puppies born this past July. Travis loves what his research has brought into his life. I love them very much. They just need a little more housebreaking, though. Though some traits even science might find a challenge to correct. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, good night.